so wonderful. So Jessica, how about we start with just a little introduction? Uh, I've learned some things about you right now that I didn't know. Tell us a little bit about where you are, what you do, just a little bit about yeah. yourself. Great. So I am um, I'm based in Ireland. I'm a bit Cork, um, but I'm originally from Malta, but I've lived here for 17 years. Um, and since I've been in Ireland, I've been in software sales. So I've literally my entire career has been uh, working for multi multiple um, large American cor corporations and um, selling software. And yeah, it's been it's been my entire life here in Ireland. So, yeah, I've um, I've four kids. I'm married to an Irish man. So it's um it's good, yeah. I was wondering, how did you get to Ireland? Probably by finding a guy. <laughs> well, that's a long story. That's another time. Oh, okay, that's another thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, definitely. Because I remember, I, I'm always laughing, you know, when people ask me, okay, why Ireland? And I was like, well, you know, I I just said to myself, if I f attract a partner here, I'm just not going. <laughs> We're yeah. not together anymore. But that was one of the reasons why I stayed. So cool. So Jessica, uh, tell us about what was going on for you when we met and um, what inspired you to invest in mentorship? Yeah, so basically when, when um, like my, my life in Ireland has always kind of been, you know, I'm married, I'm happy and, you know, things, things are, are good. Um, I've always been into, you know, manifesting in the universe and in back in in June, I, I read uh, Think and Grow Rich twice back to back, and then I bought the book um, "You're Born Rich" by Bob Proctor, and then you you showed up on my Facebook. So, and to be honest with you, the reason I was reading those books was because I wanted to find ways to improve my life. I, I was happy, but there was always something. Um, mm -hmm. My confidence has always been um, lacking. I, I was I, I was never a confident person. In fact. If anything, I was the opposite. Um, I would always criticize myself, put myself okay. down. Um, and that was a really struggle and it impacted a lot, a lot of areas in my life. And mm -hmm. even though my life is good um, and I've been quite successful and I, I think blessed, I still felt there was a ceiling and I just needed, I, I needed that help. So when the masterclass came up, I said, look, what the hell, I'll give it a go. Um, and to be honest with you, your first day, I'll, I'll never forget it. You had the Sia song, Unstoppable. And yeah. I actually got tears in my eyes and I had a chill. I had I had, I had goosebumps. I'll never forget it. Um, and I said, if I'm, I'm feeling like this now, this I'm, I'm on the right track um, because I needed a change. I, I, I always felt uh, not a change from... Uh, my inside I needed to change my inside because I felt I was never good enough um but now I'm in a completely different phase Ooh, yeah um, listen great. different woman in front of me <laughs> yeah for sure well the same woman but without those limitations right uh, very very empowered woman this is so beautiful Jessica I love learning uh, about clients, uh, like what you are getting and where you were, because it's just such a beautiful icing on the cake as a mentor as well, you know, like, okay, this is why we do what we do. And this is what our clients fulfill. Beautiful. So Jessica, what are some of your biggest wins so far? There's a lot of transformation. Uh, tell us what's been what's been happening for you. To, to be honest, the biggest, like, like you said, there's been a lot of different transformations, but the biggest one for me was my self-image. Yeah. Hands yeah. down, I, I, I am a different person to when I started, um, to even when I started the, the self-image um, extended module to today. Like I said to you, I actually felt, um, you know, I'd call myself ugly, I'd call myself fat, I'd, I'd criticize myself to the point of, I'd look in the mirror and I hated who I saw the oh self God. yeah it, it was it was actually really really bad um and yeah. I felt that when I started the self-image module in particular I, I there was changes straight away from starting module one but when I started my self-image that was the biggest catalyst for me I felt the forgiveness that I that I did and kind of it, it just it just transformed me and the love and acceptance that I now have for myself like, like you saw I changed my hair I wear colorful clothes you yeah. know when I go out I'm actually much more conscious and, and I want to feel and, and, and look good because I feel and look good I feel 
when I look in the mirror um, yeah. and just even walking and uh, walking around. The other thing as well. So that was the biggest thing. The other thing I felt um, I was always and, and you mentioned it actually in, in your implementation lesson about, you know, if you believe you exercise four times a week, but you actually don't do it. You know, there's a, there's a gap. That was another thing I felt I wanted to look after my body more. So I changed my paradigm. Now I actually get up twice a week at 530 in the morning not an issue not an issue Yay, before, I love that. before it would have been I'm so tired I can't do it I can't do it now it's like yeah hop out of bed straight to the gym and next week I'm increasing it to three days because I, I love it I enjoy it like my entire mind has changed I and I just it, it's all thanks to this and thanks to you and thanks to Ivana I have she's just amazing as well yeah, um really I've just oh, she's wonderful but to be honest with you, I felt I was so like this has become all of your material, all of the information, all of the lessons are just my every day I do them. Like I wake up ready to do mm. my mindset work, do my, you know, my listening of my goal, my my um, paradigm shifts, whatever I need to do to make sure I'm getting better and getting better. So that to me is just how it's changed my life and they're the biggest wins and I see so many more wins just from a financial point of view you know um I've seen huge growth in my sales and you saw my wins yesterday mm. and to be honest with you I'm doing very little and I'm kind of going how you know this is actually yeah. great um so can you can you share a little bit more about these wins because uh you know, what's really wonderful is you are an example of someone who is in corporate. Uh, most of our clients come to us to improve business, but I really wanted to share uh, to our participants who are maybe in employment, wow, you can actually increase your income, you can increase your sales while you're in corporate. Can you share a little bit more about like what what's changed and uh, what's the impact? So I had a paradigm shift that I started doing um, and that I wanted to close deals um, of greater than 125K. Um, mm -hmm. And I kept listening to it and listening to it. And when I say I listened to it, I mean, I listened to it. Yeah. Um, it was constant. And, and basically what happened, uh, things started happening in work that were just not not the usual so uh, um a, a deal would come in um with me doing very little work for it so my job um just to kind of get up give a bit of context i'm a product specialist so i don't own the sales process yeah. and so i only join in to a certain extent but there's been deals that happen without me doing anything um mm -hmm. so this week um i've i i've had uh, 350,000 euro dollars sorry closed um mm -hmm. which have brought me to 131% of my month um and yeah. just things like that so I, I think when when it's it's all about understanding what is it do I, that i want and that's how i that's how i understood it what is it that I want from my job, whether it was the promotion that I wanted to get, etc. Obviously, now I've changed my goal, but um, whether it was the promotion, but it was really to get over every deal that I worked on, I wanted to be over 125. And to be honest with you, like mm. they're just happening. They're just happening. And we're um, talking about 125 uh, uh, your target, right? So no, I want I wanted deals of one hundred twenty five thousand oh, oh okay. in value, um, mm -hmm. to happen. So that that would bring me my I have a quite a big target, but that brought me to this month's yeah. target of one hundred thirty one percent, and I haven't missed a target since I've joined TAR. And before that, like even my husband is saying, this is amazing. You know, <laughs> it's like I've I've literally haven't um not hit my target since I joined, which was August twenty sixth hit my target in September, hit my target in October, hit my target in November. But I've I've hit my target in December. So amazing. amazing. It's, and it's not just 100% of your target, it's 130% of your target. Yeah, that's amazing. And, uh, and what would you say? So I know that obviously your sales targets have impact on what you're receiving on hand. How much would you say your income or your, uh, you know, commissions would increase since you started? So my um it, these haven't been the biggest months. I've had bigger months, um, but the so I would say uh, at the moment I'm earning closer to ten thousand a month, right. um, 
last month before tax, I was at 19,000. Mm -hmm. uh, so wow. my, my, my numbers are going up. And um, I got a call from my boss about two, week, two weeks ago, out of the blue, Friday evening. He called me, he said, uh, Jess, do you have a minute? Um, he said, look, just to let you know, um, you know, we really value your work. We want to give you a, a spot, spot bonus. And I was like, this is this is it. This is great. So it just things started happening and just they keep happening. And what would, you say, what would you say the income was before you started? Um yeah, I would I was having like months where I was struggling like four thousand. Okay, um, got it. Big difference. Maybe maybe four, four point three. I would have had good months um last year, but nothing um like like the last few months I've been having now, they've yeah. significantly increased. Yeah, there's a whole new level. I mean, like yeah. four thousand per month to to ten to twenty. Like this is crazy. Yeah, Amazing. yeah. I know it's great. Yeah. Listen, know. It's great. Um, and are you um are you open to share about your new development? Um, yeah, hundred percent. Um, and the re again, the reason I am comfortable of sharing it is because now it's just completely embedded into my soul. So as you know, my, my previous goal was to get promoted into, you know, a higher strategic role within my company. But when I did my self-image module, when I was repeating my goal, something was, I just, something yeah. wasn't gelling. I, 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 I knew it was the wrong goal. And I had a call um, with Yvonne and I said to her, look, what do you think? You know, this is, I, I, I feel it. I feel it. So my, my, I, as a, as a person, I had quite a high emotional impact when I was a child. Mm -hmm. um, and that has always resonated with me. And, and that defined my life for quite, quite a long period of time. And um, I was my trauma and I always felt that I wanted to help people um, understand that there is joy, there is happiness, there yeah. is abundance in, in your life, even though you've been yeah. through something. So I have decided to take on and go through the Proctor Gallagher uh, consultancy program. So I'm just so excited. I can't wait. Um, so, so yeah, going to be a fellow PGA consultant very yes. shortly. I, I, I can't wait. So but the reason this happened, Eva, this this before TIR, mm -hmm. but before meeting you um, mm -hmm. This would have been so out there, so yeah. impossible. Yeah. So yeah. impossible. And yeah. that's, I, I guess, for anyone here, mm -hmm. even thinking and saying, oh, I want to do this. Or, oh, my God, this has helped me actually not just see it and say, you know what? 100% you're able to do it and you're able to be successful. Just do it. Yeah. When you don't have self-belief, when you, when you don't believe in yourself the way that I didn't, Mm -hmm. I understand how you'd see that that's impossible. But when you're able to change the way you look at yourself, the way you accept yourself and the way you feel about yourself, mm -hmm. the sky's the limit. And that's how I feel. And I swear to God, Ava, I've if it wasn't for your program, I would definitely still be a million miles of, from where I am today. And I'm just so forever grateful. I love it. My pleasure. You know, I recognize so many patterns in us. It's so like, I always laugh that like attracts like, you know, because mm. when I came to Bob, it wasn't money. It was actually confidence. Um, I just struggled with uh, speaking and, and reading in front of people. And of course, my inner critic was just whoa, huge. <laughs> And um, and that was just like with you, it was a big starting point of my purpose. Like, what am I here for? Yeah. And what am I going to do with my life now that I'm confident and I believe in myself? So I'm so delighted for you. Like, like your results are just phenomenal. And it just shows your application of this program. Um, and I know starting with confidence actually showed you like how effective this is. But like, even your income, I mean, that's like four or five times. Yeah. And yeah. consistently, like, that's freaking amazing. Your boss must be like, oh, I don't know if they know about your transition, but they ooh, don't. Yes, they hold don't. Off, they don't. Hold off. But of course, you're probably going to go gradually, right? Because, you know, yeah. Yeah, it takes it takes time. But this material is going to help you develop this business so quickly. 
Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So Jessica, mm, I suppose um, I always love asking about this um, moment of decision making. Uh, you know, the way I teach that there's always like the you, you, your intuition, and then there is paradigm trying to stop you or maybe circumstances. Was there anything that was trying to pull you away from making this decision? And how did you do the right thing? Every fiber of my body was saying, oh my, because I have four kids um, and, you know, I was saying to myself, okay, like, is this the right thing to do? Is, you know, will I, will I be okay? Blah, blah, blah. So I had every fiber of my being fighting me, but I also had, my heart was telling me, oh my God, Jessica, this is, this is for you. Um, mm -hmm. I borrowed the money, but I would do it again. And I, I don't care at this point how much it would have costed if I had, like I would have done it sooner. Yeah. I'm, but everything was stopping me. There was nothing telling me, oh my God, go ahead, do it. No, yeah. I was com completely, as it, naturally, I was so afraid to just go and just say invest in myself. But I've learned that, you know, people invest and I'm I'm a uh, culprit of that. You know, you invest in nice cars, you invest in nice clothes, you invest in nice, but you don't invest in yourself. And that's yeah. the biggest thing that you should be doing. I will never not invest in myself again. I My investment and my development will come first over mm -hmm. anything moving yeah. forward because I have learned that this has changed my life. Um, mm -hmm. And, I, you know, but... I know there's probably people in the same boat as me. Mm -hmm. It's so it's so scary. It's so frightening, and it's I I can understand why, but it you know I think it's just that you know that terror barrier. Mm -hmm. You know your goal is on the other side of fear. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. I just yeah. went. I'm just going to do it, yeah. and that's it. I just went yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And I did it and I haven't looked back. So it's great. Uh, so brilliant. And uh, I love how you describe it because I, I found that uh, these decisions, like life-changing decisions are difficult, but they're even more difficult for people who do not believe in themselves. Uh, because then you not only may have like the circumstance of the money not being there for children, how can you justify investing in yourself? But but there is that big psychological thing that doesn't believe in you, right? On the basis of all these years of inner critic. And I think one thing that uh, like if there is anybody watching and you feel like, okay, well, maybe it's going to work for everybody else, but not me. I think initially what you do is you you borrow our belief in you. Like, you know, that's what I had to do. And that's what Jessica had to do borrow your borrow our belief that is going to work like both Jessica and I came from very similar spot in terms of our confidence and belief in ourselves and then within that one month working on your self-image or confidence you will actually develop that belief in yourself and then everything is going to turn around because that first that first point of believing that I can have be do more is frequently the turning point for people that literally stops them from moving, identifying the goals or moving for these goals. So thank you so much, Jessica. This is so inspiring. I just like, oh my God, this is so good. Okay. And um, I love listening to client success stories. I love interviewing you guys because it actually gives me this reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. This is so wonderful. And okay. Jessica, you know that there's quite a few people watching us and making decisions this weekend. What would be your tip for them, like how to make the decision that they will be happy about in the future? Honestly, don't think twice. Don't let your inner voice just just ignore that. Go with your heart and just go for it. Don't waste a second. I like I'm so glad I've done this. I would do it over again. I'm so grateful for it. Like it's changed my life. It it and to be fair, it's actually changing my family's life. Yeah. Um, I'm actually doing I'm actually doing the um, self image module with my son as well. Uh, but, but just just go for it. Just don't think twice. If you have questions, I'm sure you you know yourself, Ava will answer them. But I I would I'm a normal person. You know I've I'm a normal person like anyone else. I have you know flaws. I have. You know, I'm scared. I have this and that, but but I will I will never not do this. Like for me, TIR is embedded in me, and I I just anyone who's 
doubting. I hope this has given them that courage mm-hmm. and to be brave and to go after what they want. You only live once. And I just think, just go for it. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. And, you know, I just want everybody to tap into this feeling within you. If you have a feeling that you can do better than you're doing, that feeling is your intuition. If you have a feeling like there is more for you, that, you know, maybe you've been trying to go to that next level of income, maybe you've been trying to change your confidence, and no matter what, it's just not been working, but there is that feeling telling you that it's possible. And I know that you have this feeling because you're here because, you know, people do not come to these workshops who do not have that nudge within them that, you know, what change is possible for me. That's why you came to this masterclass. So that feeling within you is your intuitive guidance telling you that your goal or your transformation is possible. And all you do is literally surrender to expert guidance. And if you follow our instructions, like Jessica did one step at a time, Every single goal, every single, you know, uh, confidence transformation, anything you want is going to happen in the next six to 12 months. All you've got to do is show up and, and trust and invest in yourself and then hand over to us, <laughs> surrender to our support. And uh, Jessica mentioned also, we have phenomenal success coaches. We have phenomenal internal team success coach. You have a go-to success coach that will support you. Uh, you can receive my my support. You can always reach out to your dedicated success coach. We have masterminds. Literally, you cannot fail. You cannot ha- fail. You're just like click and pay and surrender <laughs> and let the expert guide you step by step. Thank you so much, Jessica. This was so thank inspiring. You so much. This is this is great. I, I love it. So good luck and thank you. Thank you. And Jessica manifested this guy. So I just, let's, let's tell them the story. So you tell them. Yeah. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I watched you interviewing Maret and mm-hmm. I was like, I, I, I've seen her on, on our Q and A's, et cetera. And, and I said to myself, I said, one day that's going to be me. And I said, that's it. I said, and how long did it take? How long? two weeks three weeks I actually don't it was just it's really quick really quick I love Um, it so So beautiful so guys if this inspires you there is the the link to register and and uh join us um at the top of this video make sure that you join register let us help you and then you get to hang out with people like Jessica on the other side thank you so much Jessica did you want to say something I no 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 yeah okay no all good Perfect. Let me just stop the recording. Don't go anywhere.